is it because these royal families of Europe is it because they are different because they're not human I don't want to sensationalise this I don't want to uh, sound stupid I don't want to embarrass you is it because they're genetically different to us I think it, that is exactly why I think that they know what we don't know they know that they are not actually human and there was the, on on the Tonight Show with uh, with uh, Jay Leno a couple of years ago. There was a, uh, a a television show called what was it? It was the um, uh, oh, what was the name of the TV show that was interviewing Prince Charles? It was uh, sixty minutes. Sixty, 60 minutes. That's minutes. the one. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Prince Charles was on 60 Minutes being interviewed. And the, and, the, and the guy from 60 Minutes asked Prince Charles a question that he didn't like. He was not happy with being asked this particular question. And when, the, and when this interviewer asked Prince Charles a question he didn't want to hear, Prince Charles looked at him and squinted his eyes and hiss like a snake. He kept hissing at, at the at this uh, interviewer. He's not right. Like a snake. And I was I was shocked and it was so incredible that Jay Leno had that piece put on the on his show one night. He was talking about about reptile aliens and he said <coughs> <coughs> and he said Watch this video of Prince Charles, and you tell me what's going on. <clears throat> and he showed the, uh, and it was a piece from 60 Minutes interview, where the interviewer asked Prince Charles something he didn't want to, he didn't want to be asked. And instead of answering him, he turned and looked at the interviewer and squinched his eyes down showing he was very unhappy with, with, wow. with, with being asked this question. And he started hissing loud like a snake. He hissed and hissed at this, at this interviewer. And that was pretty incredible. People in the audience were knocked out. They couldn't believe it that here is Prince Charles the epitome of royalty. Yeah, the heir to the throne. Like a snake. Hey, we've got to dig that clip out. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to go look for it later on after the program. I've wow. got it. I You've saved got it. it. I, could, I got it and I saved it and I can send it to Do, you. Jordan, send it to me. Yeah. And, and I would love for you to watch it and you tell me what's going on. Do you know what's interesting when about that? Prince Charles hissing like a snake. I'll definitely watch it. You, your old friend and my old friend, David Icke, many, yep. many, many years ago, was on a UK television programme and he was in the green room and the former Prime Minister of the UK, Edward Heath, who was a Satanist and a child murderer, this is true. Edward Heath was a child abuser and children were murdered when he... When, when he um, had finished abusing them. And David met Edward Heath for a brief moment. I'm sure you know this story. And David believes that Edward Heath shapeshifted. Something happened to Heath's eyes when David looked at him that was extraordinary and that was otherworldly. And whatever people might think about David's research and his work, I can tell you that David Icke is not a liar. If David says he saw it, he saw it, or at least he believes he saw it. And he felt that Heath definitely came across, I don't know, kind of reptilian. Isn't that very interesting? I think so, because that's what uh, Prince Charles was hissing like a snake. He went out of his way to be very, very obvious of hissing. And he kept hissing at this, at this in interviewer on 60 Minutes. And it was an extraordinary experience of people watching what with, with Prince Charles hissing like a snake. And, and so that's why I think, and I have always believed, and I've said this publicly at lectures, I, I was on the stage with, with uh, David when he came to America 
uh, I got him to speak at a conference, and I was on the same conference, and I was there too. And I said on the stage, it was just David and I sitting together on the stage, and I said, I am totally convinced for myself, according to my own knowledge, I am totally convinced that the world is being run by reptile aliens. I totally believe that. And then I said, I believe that not because David Icke said so, it's because that's what I believed before I ever met David Icke. And I have a reason for believing that. And uh, and I've been doing this kind of research all my life, and that's, that's what I believe, because I've seen it. I've seen and heard too much that I now know there's something going on on the earth that has to do with extraterrestrial life forms over here, but they're not exactly human. 